Hello, I'm Joseph Michelli, a customer experience and leadership consultant, author, and professional speaker. This is the final post in the series, How to Drive Delight the Mercedes-Benz Way. This installment is titled, Target Delight Instead of Satisfaction. In my book, Driven to Delight, Delivering World-Class Customer Experience the Mercedes-Benz Way, I detail how Mercedes-Benz leaders transform their customer experience through a clearly defined set of strategic objectives. The goal of those objectives was to transcend customer satisfaction and instead deliver customer delight. So what are the differences between customer satisfaction and delight? And why did Mercedes-Benz set delight as their goal? As a consultant involved in the Mercedes-Benz delight transformation, here's my take on distinctions between customer satisfaction and delight. Satisfaction involves meeting customer expectations, while delight involves exceeding them. Satisfaction is a rational process of assessing outcomes. It's a byproduct of calculations from our frontal lobes. Delight is an emotional process and activates the entire limbic system. Delight emerges from feeling positively surprised. A common delight utterance is, wow. Satisfying experiences are easily forgotten. They fade into the background. Delightful experiences, by contrast, are easily remembered. Satisfying experiences are seldom shared. Delightful experiences are seldom kept to oneself. Many of them get reshared and some go viral. Delightful experiences are typically the result of teamwork and usually reflect small gestures as opposed to heroic efforts. So now that we've defined the terms, let's look at why you might want to shoot for delight. Consumer research shows that up to 75% of customers who stop doing business with a company were satisfied or even very satisfied when they left. Clearly, when Mercedes-Benz dealers dissatisfy customers, those customers are likely to leave. Unfortunately, when Mercedes-Benz satisfies them, that doesn't ensure that they're going to return or recommend the luxury automaker. By contrast, when brands like Mercedes-Benz satisfy and deliver positive emotions, customers report higher engagement levels that predict repeat business and referrals. To put a finer point on it, Alan Zorfis and Daniel Lehman published powerful research findings in a Harvard Business Review article aptly titled, An Emotional Connection Matters More Than Customer Satisfaction. In that article, Zorfis and Lehman note, our research across hundreds of brands in dozens of categories shows that the most effective way to maximize customer value is to move beyond mere customer satisfaction and connect with customers at an emotional level. On a lifetime value basis, emotionally connected customers are more than twice as valuable as highly satisfied customers. These emotionally connected customers buy more of your products and services, visit you more often, exhibit less price sensitivity, pay more attention to your communications, follow your advice, and recommend you more. Everything you hope their experience with you will cause them to do. Companies deploying emotional connection-based strategies and metrics to design, prioritize, and measure the customer experience find that increasing customers' emotional connection drives significant improvements in financial outcomes. The customer experience is a critically important driver of emotional connection. Bringing the Zorfus Lehman research in line with the Mercedes-Benz approach, Delight is viewed as an essential ingredient in customer loyalty. More specifically, leaders at Mercedes-Benz look at loyalty as a mix of getting it right, delivering exactly what customers want throughout their journey, making it easy and convenient, uh, reducing the overall effort required for customers to get their needs met, and forging a personal emotional connection that results in delight, an emotional reaction that occurs when you and your colleagues pleasurably exceed customer expectations. Given the Mercedes-Benz approach to driving delight, here are this week's challenge questions. Number one, are you measuring customer satisfaction or delight? Number two, how emotionally connected are you to your customers and is the strength of that connection producing more purchases, more visits, and less price sensitivity? And number three, what are you doing to get it right, make it easy, and forge personal emotional connections with your customers? I hope you'll consider purchasing a copy of Driven to Delight, or if you already own it, I'd appreciate you taking the time to write a review on Amazon. You can also stop by josephmichelli.com to schedule a time to talk about delighting your customers every time. As you pursue world-class customer experiences, I hope you will be driven to delight.